I do want to ask you about On Pandering, the essay that you wrote okay. that got so sure. much attention. It's, it's complicated. I really encourage people to read it, and we'll link to it on our website. It's got a lot of um, strains of thought in it and ideas. Yeah. But, at, but at its base, um, you, you call yourself out mm -hmm. for having written in a style that you felt was pandering to older white men who are some of your figureheads, you know, yeah. people that you respect. Mm -hmm. And um, that you that you want to try not to do that, right? Um, yeah. ha and it created a, a whole interesting right. conversation where um, African American women were also saying, "Oh gosh, maybe I write for white women. Mm -hmm. Who is my audience? Who right. am I pandering to?" Mm -hmm. Right, right. Is your writing changing? Do you think, based on this self examination that you talked about in on pandering, have you noticed? Have you noticed a change? I have, yeah. Um, but maybe, I, maybe I'll tell you a little bit about like where on pandering came from. You know, it was originally a talk I gave at a writers' conference, um, the Tin House Writers' Conference, and my goal was, you know, it's n it's relatively new to me to be offered the microphone at these things and be the person. Uh, you know, dispensing the wisdom rather than the person in the audience with the notebook receiving the wisdom. So it, I was sort of freaking out and I was like, what do I have to say? I don't know. I'm lost too. You know, I have a doubt. I am unsure of myself all the time, of course. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe it would be good for them to hear that. Maybe it would just be nice for young writers or emerging writers to hear that somebody they might regard as well established or successful in some whatever that even means um, is and also full of doubt. So I said, you know, I'll just sort of transcribe my internal doubt-o-meter onto the page and share with them, like, this is what it looks like for me to be unsure of the work I've produced and unsure about why I write and who my audience is and so on. And I thought I was presenting a very particular and personal, and it is a, a very personal, I'm not saying that all writers do that, although I might actually say that in the piece, I can't remember. But um, I was trying to just talk about what happens to me. And then after the talk, I mean, like, it really res seemed to resonate, especially with women writers. And it became clear that it was, I hadn't had any plans to publish it. I was just going to give the talk and then cash my check and, and go home, you know. Um, but so many writers came up to me and they, women writers would talk about, they would say, you know, the exact same thing happened to me. This happened, this happened. Sometimes they would say, you know, that, that male writer you mentioned, he did this and this and this to me, right? Um, and then another really shocking thing would happen is um, again and again, I would be having a conversation at the conference with a male writer and he might come up and say, you know, thank you for your talk. That was really illuminating. I learned a lot from it and then a female writer would come up and she would say I'm sorry to interrupt of course she she like I would often preface her contribution with an apology right I'm sorry I'm sorry to interrupt but I just have to say Claire that I really liked your talk especially because the same thing happened to me and then she would tell a story about being infantilized or dismissed because she was a woman as a writer and that you know tell an anecdote that illuminated that she was not considered of the same caliber as her male writer peers and I would listen and I would be like, I'm really sorry that happened to you. And then the male writer, having overheard this exchange, would say something like, wow, what a coincidence. The same thing happened to both of you. That's crazy. And then she and I would look at each other and say, it's not crazy. Like, it happens, I think, to many, many, many women um, in different ways depending on your background and your race and the way you move through the world. But um, yeah, so I thought it was that that was when the wheels started turning about like maybe I should maybe it would be nice to share this more widely and for better or worse that that happened. <laughs>